guys, I'm back with another Batmobile, and this time we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite models. This is the Eagle Moss Batmobile from the animated series Batman Beyond. Now, I do love the design of this car, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that one of the reasons why I love it so much is because I was a big fan of the TV series. Uh, I just love the way the, uh, the creative team behind Batman, the animated series, they created this possible future for the character of Bruce Wayne and Batman. Uh, I love the concept, the characters, and the storytelling. They were all incredible, especially in the first season and in the Return of the Joker movie. I thought the character of Terry McGinnis was great. He kind of had this personality that, that reminded me of, of Spider-Man or Dick Grayson, even. Um, you had Kevin Conroy playing uh, the elderly Bruce Wayne, and in my book, you can't go wrong with, with Kevin Conroy. And on top of that, they had this really cool futuristic Batmobile. Since Batman Beyond is part of that DC WB animated universe, the animation style was very similar to Justice League and the Superman and Batman animated series. For this futuristic Batmobile, they came up with a simple yet sleek design that looked kind of sci-fi and instantly made you think of Batman. It's set in the future, so it's a flying Batmobile, right? It's, it's got to be a flying car. Um, and I loved how the inside of the cockpit was almost uh, monochromatic, uh, like there was this red light inside the cockpit. Um, the bat suit was linked to the onboard computer, so Batman was really the only one who could pilot this car. The Batmobile was almost this extension of the bat suit, and it had many of the same features as Batman. It had stealth technology, invisibility, uh, as well as grappling hooks, magnetic clamps, and missile launchers. And of course, the Batmobile had a permanent computer uplink to Bruce Wayne in the Batcave, so uh, Bruce Wayne could always monitor and assist Terry when he was out in the field. So, as always, let's first check out the display. The diorama is of the Batman Beyond Batcave, and the, the 3D lenticular has a very cool image of the inside of the cave. Uh, we have some of the classic trademark items that we expect to find in the cave, like uh, the giant penny and the dinosaur here on the side. There are the, the different bat suits on display in the middle. We have Batman, Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing, and of course the Batman Beyond suit. Then there's the staircase leading up to Wayne Manor and the bat computer on the right. Now this image is actually from when Bruce Wayne was still Batman. Um, it comes from the very beginning of the pilot episode, Rebirth, uh, when Bruce Wayne first decides to give up being Batman. Uh, the reason why I say that is because this image here of the Harley Quinn trophy, the pilot episode is the only time when we see it in shadow exactly like this. Every other time that I've noticed it in the show, it actually looks more like this. You can tell it's the Harley Quinn trophy. So I think it's cool that Eagle Moss chose that, that pivotal moment in the story uh, to display for the diorama. Now, the base is just a continuation of the cave floor. And I think the model looks great with uh, the, the display. It's hovering on these two pegs with the image of the Batcave behind it. And in the series, the Batmobile is actually displayed off to the side like this. But, of course, this is a better way to showcase the model for the diorama. This is unbearably cool. So let's take a closer look at this model of the Batman Beyond Batmobile. This one has a little bit of weight to it. You know, aside from the, the front fins and the, uh, the canopy here, the model is primarily die-cast metal, and it feels kind of heavy. And I just love the sculpted detail in the light blue sections uh, on the side there, and the red squares. You know, for some reason, it gives it that sci-fi look. It kind of reminds me of classic Star Trek. You know, like on the bridge of the Enterprise, there are all these square lights everywhere. Um, they probably don't do anything, but it gives it that futuristic look. 
And I think it does the same thing with this Batmobile. And of course, the sculpt and the paint detail for this model, it continues underneath. Mine has a few QC issues, uh, but that's okay. It's on the underbelly, so you never really see it. It still looks great. I think Eagle Moss, they were really successful at taking this animated design and making a really solid 3D model out of it. In closing, this is another must-have in my opinion. The Batman Beyond Batmobile is definitely on my top 10 list of favorites. I know there are a few toy versions of this Batmobile, but to my knowledge, this is the only model that's out there. It's one of those Batmobiles like the Arkham or the Bat Tank that I was really hoping Eagle Moss would produce, and I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. If you are a collector, then I would highly recommend it. And if you're not familiar with Batman Beyond, uh, and I was surprised to discover that there are some Bat fans out there who had never seen the show, uh, I'd say download it immediately. You're missing out. I obviously love the show. Uh, I, th I thought there were some great stories, and again, you can't go wrong with Kevin Conroy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. As always, I hope you take the time to rate, comment, subscribe, and maybe check out some of my other recent videos. So, we've been looking at the Eagle Moss Batman Automobilia issue number 37, the Batmobile from the animated series Batman Beyond. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.